local delicacy there. So it's really uh, uh, nice uh, to uh, take a look uh, around the cities. Uh, this season, as you know, is uh, sunny and hot in southern Taiwan. So, uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy your stay here in Taiwan uh, the last week. Uh, I also, lastly, I would like to say thanks to my colleague, uh, Professor Frank Chen, to host such a great event uh, for our universities. Uh, I hope all you have a enjoy your stay uh, in Taiwan here. Thank you very much. And as I mentioned before, he's the first chair of the ICPP, so it's very memorable, memorable <laughs> that we have to get the first chair here. And uh, he, of course, I would like to mention his career. He is the founding director of uh, NIST, National Institute for Fusion Sciences, was uh, established in Nagoya in 1989. And uh, and uh, in 2015, last year, Professor Yoshi received uh, an award for law and marital services in uh, academics by the Prime Minister of Japan uh, in the name of Emperor of Japan. Okay. And uh, so that, that award is the order of the sacred treasure, go raised with neck ribbon, right? So I'm, I'm very happy again Introduce uh, to invite uh, Professor Yoshi to come up and uh, give an uh, opening speech.
next, uh, I would like to introduce you the uh, ICPP meeting uh, the chair of the uh, 2014, which was the last time we had the ICPP meeting in uh, uh, Lisbon, Portugal. And uh, so I would, and, uh, I would like to invite uh, Professor Tito Mendonca. He was the chair of that. And he is the was professor of our Institute Superior Technical in uh, Lisbon. So, welcome. Good morning, everybody. Because I, I don't trust my improvisation talents, I, I wrote the few words. I have to take my glasses because of I, I <laughs> see too well. <laughs> so, well, I'd like first of all to remember that in 1544, which been almost 500 years ago, the Portuguese were the first Europeans to reach the coast of Taiwan. Uh, at that time, the, the boat ship from Europe to the east would take several months. Yesterday, I, I, I traveled for 20 hours, which is still a, a long trip, but much better than in the past. Uh, my ancestors, the Portuguese sailors, they were surprised with the, the beauty of, of the island and they called it Ilha Formosa, which means beautiful island. Uh, the Portuguese never settled uh, here, but the island was occupied by, uh, for some time by other European nations like the Spanish and the Dutch. And you know that, this is history. They kept calling uh, uh, the island Formosa and this is the name that I learned in, at elementary school. Uh, it's a kind of dream island for me, because for a it's a mysterious name for an island. Uh, so I expect to see some of the beauties that justify the name of Formosa during my stay here. Uh, but of course, I am here uh, mainly for science, and I hope uh, that this conference will uh, be able to bring uh, beautiful results for plasma physics, so we could call it Physica Formosa. <laughs> but of course, plasma physics is a risky adventure. We had the saga, or we still have the saga of magnetic fusion, which kept promising for 50 years, but did not uh, deliver it yet. We had the later ignition, which failed its, its promises a couple of years ago, uh, but now we have a couple of other nice ideas like plasma, plasma accelerators or uh, plasma medicine. And uh, we have a robust and healthy community with a variety of talents and purposes which could make uh, other kinds of physics envious if they understood what we are doing. Uh, two years ago I had the pleasure to host the 17th uh, ICPP in Lisbon and uh, in Portugal. And Portugal is a, is a uh, kind of peculiar island because it is surrounded by the Atlantic from one side and by, the, by Spain uh, from the other side. So in a sense it's an imaginary island. Now we move to a real island. So, uh, and you know, it, this, this ocean was called Pacific because Magellan during the circumnavigation, he found that uh, it, he crossed the, the Pacific during a good time and he thought that the Pacific was much, much uh, uh, peaceful than the Atlantic, which is a mistake, of course. So, going back to science, I sincerely hope that this conference will do much better than the last one, and it started very well, actually. And uh, I wish you a pleasant stay here. Have a good conference. Thank you. Well, from Portugal, now we go to uh, Orin. <laughs> Dr. Nazareth, 
And uh, as you know, uh, uh, Professor uh, Mendonca mentioned that uh, he was uh, Portuguese who came to went past through the, this uh, beautiful island of uh, Formosa. But actually, it was the Dutch who settled in Taiwan as the first colony for almost 30 years. Actually, it could be even more. And that uh, settlement actually is in Tainan city. And so there are many, a few uh, castles still survive. And uh, so, therefore, I'm very happy to uh, introduce our next uh, person who will uh, give a speech. That is the Professor Tony Tone, and he is the, the uh, manager of the uh, Euro Fusion. And uh, you know, since 1990, the Fusion program of, in Europe has surpassed the US program in terms of spending and the scale and the size. And uh, now, so it's really the mainstream of the Fusion effort. And uh, as you know, the Ether web is being under construction in France, and so that is part of the European effort. Okay, so welcome, <laughs> Tony. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, every, everything has been said, but not yet by everyone. And I, I just now um, realized that when Frank contacted me a week ago to give an opening speech here, that he actually wanted to repeat history here, so with first the Portuguese and then the Dutch. So I wonder what comes next, probably a Taiwanese speaker. Uh, let me start with the words of Henry VIII, which he said to his six wives. I won't keep you long. It's a real pleasure for me to give this uh, brief opening address uh, to this uh, conference. I learned there's 365 people here from 27 countries. We heard that already. And it's great to see so many cosmic physicists from all over the world here to present the latest findings in your field to discuss your work with your colleagues and also to go home, of course, with new ideas and maybe new collaborations. And we all know, I'm talking to plasma physicists, except for one, but 99.99% uh, of the visible universe is in the plasma state. And it's therefore not a surprise that plasma physics is such a diverse uh, uh, discipline. So the plasmas, when you look through the book of abstracts here, they have typical scale scales which start with the nanometer scale, nanoplasmas, and go all the way up to the astro astrophysical plasma studied by uh, the people doing the space instrumentation. So plasmas occurring in nature, the astrophysical plasmas, terrestrial plasmas, they have very intriguing features and we still don't understand them fully. They have plasmas mankind for many centuries. Man-made plasmas, on the other hand, they also have very diverse features. We use them in, in uh, medical uh, uh, applications, uh, in industry, for action, for deposition, for sterilization, for material treatment. We have beam plasmas, plasma accelerators, plasma catalysis, uh, plasma activation, and the somewhat larger fusion plasmas. Also, when you look at the plasmas, they have temperatures which go from well, below the EV to uh, multiple uh, tens, even hundreds of KeV, and also the density is very over many decades. But I think the most striking feature is that many processes in plasma are still varying. Uh, MXD processes, for instance, which occur in deep space, you can mimic them in a laboratory. And I think that this is especially this feature which makes this conference so interesting. I think this week you will hear and see many talks from many different applications and although maybe you don't see directly a link with your own work, I think look close at it because there could be many ideas and many, many uh, features in the world which could also have an application in your work. I strongly do believe that this congress which brings together plasma physicists from so many disciplines is a very fertile cradle for cross-fertilization. Experience at past ICPP conferences has learned that, and often ideas are transferred from one field of plasma physics to another field. I therefore uh, advise um, all participants to not only uh, attend the orals and visit the posters in your own specific field of plasma physics, but also go to the other one, because you could learn something there 
Um, actually, anyhow, outside it's way too warm, so this is the only place where you can survive the week. So, it could be that by the end of the week you have uh, gained completely new knowledge, new insights, uh, how to tackle challenges in your own field, and hopefully you also have started some new collaborations. So, I wish you all a very interesting and fruitful week, a joyful congress, and I sincerely do hope that many of you will go home with new ideas and new collaborations. Thank you. Let me <laughs> ask a few words here who wants to come up to give a speech. Chuksa? <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, yes. Maybe I can introduce uh, Dr. Trang. He is the, actually the vice chair of C16, which is the IUPAB, International Union of Pure and Applied Physics. But the chair is actually Professor uh, Lindy Hao. And is she here? Oh, she is here. Okay, Nini, can you come up? No? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we'll see her on uh, Wednesday evening at the Bangladesh Express. Okay, <laughs> how about Premier? <laughs> come up to give a speech? No? <laughs> okay, great. Thank you very much then. And uh, we'll take a few minutes and then uh, for uh, Professor Yoshi to prepare his talk on the, uh, the keynote lecture. Okay, thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me now to introduce a person which has already been introduced, Atsuo Yoshi, who had and he still has a very large impact in the field of plasma physics in general, but also on that of fusion physics in particular. Uh, Frank asked me to uh, introduce Yoshi san and, but he didn't say that he was going to read the CV of Yoshi san himself, so I will try to skip some parts which I wrote down. But the uh, Yoshi san graduated from Keio University in Japan in 1965. He went then for a year as a research fellow to Princeton and then afterwards to UKA in England. He became back to uh, Japan, to Kaiyu University, and in 1970 he moved to Kyoto uh, University, where he first was associate professor, then he became professor, and in 1988 he became director of the Hegiotron Fusion Research Center. This was only four years since a year later he was already the first director that was mentioned by Frank, the first director of the National Institute for Fusion Studies, and under his uh, leadership, the large helical device, which until recently was the largest operated uh, accelerator in the world, uh, was established. And after his refinement from uh, Nipsey, he's still very active, he was as president of Tuguru University, still as chancellor, and also as chairman of the board of trustees uh, of the educational corporation. And uh, what well, I don't have to mention again that he started this series of ICTP conferences. What you didn't know yet, uh, or what wasn't said yet, is that in 2008, uh, Yoshi-san wrote a popular scientific book in Japanese about big projects and what are the essential three elements to make a big project a success. One factor is that the project needs to answer the pending difficulties of society, thus resulting in strong support once the project is made public. The second is that the staff of the project must have abilities and competences to carry out plans to, uh, for, for the project to come to fruition. And the third one is that the project must have a strong leader which um, guides the project into success. And uh, I can say that Yoshi san is truly a great leader. Uh, she is the father of the very successful LSD project in Japan. And as was mentioned by Frank, he was awarded the um, Order of the Sacred Treasure uh, by the Emperor of Japan, which was handed out by the Prime Minister. So without further ado, I give now the floor to Yoshi san to tell us about 36 years of uh, plasma, a future research and also to give his outlook for the future. So, 